Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the uh, Tronage LED light kit for the AR Drone 2.0 by Parrot. This light kit I put together is uh, designed to be used with the indoor hull. The LEDs here are all color changing except for the ring that will be mounted underneath. It stays a solid, uh, cool, bright, whitish blue tone. Um, because when you, if you look at any kind of picture on the internet of uh, UFOs, they usually have a very like bluish white ring underneath. So I wanted to go for that feel. It's the only component that does not change color. Uh, all the other LEDs are capable of changing color via the remote. Uh, the remote does control powering it on and off, as well as changing the different uh, modes of fading and blinking and the speeds at which they blink and um, the colors that are displayed. Now, this is the deluxe model. Uh, it has a few upgrades, um, two of them specifically. Uh, the first is the black background um, between the LEDs on all the strips. That's an optional upgrade. They come standard with a white background, such as these. So that's an optional background to have it be all black. The ring will be black on both the standard and deluxe models. Uh, and the other option on this, if you see the ring here is connecting to the, just the main power and it's just constant on. When it's plugged on, it'll just stay on the whole time. I also have three other ports here that are for the different channels for the colors and you can plug the ring into any of those particular channels so that when you have particular colors lit up it'll cause the ring to you know join along with them so if you have it in the red channel then when red would be on the ring will come on too and when red would come off then the ring will turn off kind of idea. I'll demonstrate it shortly. So those are the two main the two main options is the black background on the strip LEDs and the optional three channels for the ring instead of it just being constant on running off the battery mains. The battery itself is not included. It's just here so I can demo the lights. And um, speaking of demoing the lights, let's uh, let's plug them in. I'm going to first start off with the ring in the constant on position so I can just show you the lights themselves. So I'll just set this down. Okay. And now you see I have the, this is the way I prefer it with the green in the front on the two portions of the uh, the two propellers so I can know where the front and the rear is. So green in the front, red in the back with a, uh, a nice blue going down the uh, the bridge of the hull. You can see the uh, the ring has a very light colored blue, cool blue white color and now I'll demonstrate with the remote. So the first thing, since I have this color up, I'll just show you that you can increase the brightnesses and decrease the brightnesses. So that's, it can dim, you know, depending on your battery life or how much you want to use. And I'll cycle through the colors, um, the, combina the color combinations that exist within this kit. That was an all white there a few clicks ago for anyone interested in just having an all white set up. And we're back to the green and red. Um, I'll also flip off the lights here real quick just so you can see how cool it looks. I'll flip through those colors one more time really quick. There's the white. Okay, we're back to the green and red. It also offers um, modes of fading and flashing. So I'll go through those real quick. You can also adjust the speed. So on this first one, I'll just show you I can speed it up and I can slow it down. So you can really adjust how you want each of these effects to go. So I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle and uh, cycle through them. So you have a bunch of different colors. This one's kind of like a neat animation look like there's some motion going around. Some pretty blinky ones. Remember like I 
I said, I'm going to turn the brightness a little down. Actually, I'll turn the lights on so it's not so washing out. Get back to the effects. So you can see there's a bunch of different strobes and fades and color changes and animations and all sorts of things that you can do with this. Um, now I'll just go to a solid color here for one moment. And now I will show you what happens if I move the ring to one of the channels as the option so you can see how that functions. Okay, I believe I have it in the red channel right now. And the channel is determined by the color that's in the front. So since the front is green, the ring is off. But if I change the color to... Oh, it's on the blue channel. Okay, so when the front is blue, it's blue. If I make the front any other color that's not a shade of blue, you'll see as like a tealy green color, it's kind of lightly on. And um, if I go to like a red or something, it'll turn completely off. So depending on which channel you're plugged into will create different effects. So, for example, I'll go through like a strobe color mode. Now you see now the ring is part of that animation. So it depends on the effect that you're looking for. Then you can have the ring controlled by the uh, controller as well. This might give like a nice thruster effect almost, so it looks like it's pulsing. So the combinations are, you know, vast because then you can have which of the three channels, the red, the green, or the blue channel that you plug the ring into to create the effect that's customized just for you. So I'll go back to the solid colors and I'll do the green in the front because that's what I prefer. So that's the, uh, the demonstration of the lights um, not on the drone. I will now uh, create a second video with the lights mounted on the drone so you can see how they look um, when they're installed. Thanks.